Welcome everybody to today's episode of the Lindsay Elmore Show. Today, we are talking all about human design. Who are we meant to be? First up, I interview Rosie Crescitelli, who is a clinical aromatherapist, emotional coach, and human design expert. She takes all of the new age woo-woo-ness out of human design and brings it down to earth and makes it accessible for people who were perhaps raised in more traditional religious communities to understand that astrology and I Ching and ancient practices of wisdom of how we get to know ourselves may be valid and not in contradiction to traditional Christianity or Judaism. After that, I talk about something I learned from being a guest on a podcast, and that is called the Iki Guy. How do we decide what is our life's purpose and why are we here? What is our reason for being? And can it really be as simple as drawing four circles on a sheet of paper and finding out what comes out in the center of those four circles? Let's get to the show. Welcome to The Lindsay Elmore Show, a podcast that helps you find fulfillment amidst chaos. On this show, I interview thought leaders, doctors, creatives, spiritual gurus, and game changers who inspire you to pursue your dreams, overcome obstacles, and leave your mark. Rosie Crescitelli is a clinical aromatherapist and emotional coach who is on a mission to help women write a different ending to their story. She currently resides in San Diego with her sailor husband, a bearded dragon, a hedgehog, two teenage daughters, and twin sons in elementary school. She like her home, is vibrant to say the least. She is a self-proclaimed gypsy, and she has embraced all of the moves that her husband's naval career has brought to her and her family, and has focused on creating a cherished community at every stop along the way. She is in the trenches, moving from Hawaii to San Diego and everywhere in between, and she's found a way still to thrive. There are a few things that we should know about Rosie. She loves Jesus, but she cusses a little. And she is the loudest mother on the track and soccer field. Her work is heavy, but her personal life is full and fun of laughter and light. Today, she and I talk about human design, how you can use the human design tool to gain insight on who you are created to be and the work that you are created to do. She is particularly passionate about using this tool to grow yourself personally and to help you grow your business in your own unique way. We also talk about how new age types of healing modalities and spiritual practices can become very woo-woo and can be very scary to people within the religious communities. But Rosie does an amazing job at combining her Christianity with new age concepts such as, we call them new age, but really they're very, very old age, such as the I Ching and astrology that are present within human design. We talk about what human design is, how it works, how do we recognize our design types, and how does it impact our life? our experience as a friend, as a parent, as a partner, and how it can impact our businesses. Rosie Crescitelli, welcome to the Lindsay Elmore Show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to talk to you because you are a human design specialist. And several months ago, you were like, hey, Linz, do you want to do some human design? And I was, you sent me the report of like the weird like guy kind of sitting down with arrows going here and there and colors. And I was like, 
what have I just dived into? Like, it's intense, the human design. Like, it's different than colors of personalities or Enneagram or it, I'm even getting a scientific hand analysis um, with one of my other guests. But it's like human design, even just to convey what it is, is a real big challenge. And like, how do you, you know, because you and I sat and I was like, until I understand actually what I'm looking at, I don't know that I'm going to be satisfied with this. So what exactly is human design and what do you think makes it different than other kind of personality profiles that are out there? I love that you asked me that question because it's, it's basically how I lead with what it is. So I'm a junkie for all the tests, mm-hmm. signing up for all the tests. Like what Disney princess are you? I don't know, but let's find <laughs> So when Missy was doing Enneagram, I'm like, pick me. I'm here for it. Uh-huh. I will give you a big like Myers Briggs disc. I have done Strength Finders, all of Strength them. Finder, yes. Love all of them. I love all of them. I will tell you that Strengths Finder was sort of what set me on this path to really fine tuning and stepping into my strengths. Because when you're taking these tests, you take them from your, what you understand about yourself. And so I always felt like something was off and something was not quite right. Or I will honestly tell you, I would answer questions like, well, I'm working on that. So I'm just going to pick <laughs> up. Like, right. Yeah. You can't take you out of the, the, the assessment mm-hmm. until I found human design. So all you need with human design is your birth information. Mm-hmm. So it's like it plops, it takes you out of the equation and drops you right back into the equal sign. <laughs> like right. your birth date and our birthdays are one day apart. So our designs are actually very similar, but really are you the, are you the 14th or the 16th? I'm the 14th. Oh, Valentine's day. So nice. So we have the same life's work you and I do, mm-hmm. and but we do it very differently as we should, because we're different. Yes. So it is this beautiful um, melding of some, a a lot of different things. There is a sprinkling of astrology, a sprinkling of the chakra system, which I love, Mm -hmm. uh, a sprinkling of the Chinese I Ching, a little bit of quantum physics, (laughs) a little bit of uh, the tree of life and Kabbalah. And I will tell you, growing up conservative Christian, I didn't know any of those things. Right. But my design is so, it it gives you permission to just be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I teach human design, as you mentioned, a long list of new age things. I really don't care for that term. It's like the oldest age stuff. So let me just, I know, I know. I love how things are like new age. And I'm like, um, literally we've been doing this as humans for 5,000 years. Like who is the first person to gaze at a star? Like, give me a break y'all. Give me a break. And I think the other cool thing about combining I Ching and Kabbalah and astrology and all of that is that you leverage multiple systems because Ultimately, humans have always, we want to know why we're here and we need systems to create order in the universe for us. And so I love, that's part of the way that I practice pharmacy is I constantly want to be learning more. So like, yeah, I've got my pharmacy background. I can teach you about essential oils. I can teach you about supplements. I can teach you about functional medicine, all of the things. And so You said that all you have to have is your birthday and you have to be very, very clear about the exact time that you were born. Um, Why is it so important to know like exactly when you were born? Yeah, great question. It, It literally just gives you a blueprint of where the planets were the moment you entered into the earth. Mm. Now, some people don't have that information. And so you can, there are, there's a database, you can get your chart. It will look crazy. I will just tell you that I own the craziness of human design. Uh 
It is crazy. <laughs> it's it's going to look a little crazy. Um, but it's really important. And so you can play with, if, you're, if your parents are like, oh, it was the afternoon. You can go in and sort of try time frames, but if, but honestly, it just takes one second and then there's a shift Mm -hmm. and that shift can be the difference in, I mean, a a lot, a a big difference because then, and I'm glad you're asking this question. I'm so sorry. There's a storm here. (laughs) I know you said it's like you're, you're up in Washington and we are recording today on October 21st. And you said it's like hailing. Hailing. There's lightning happening. (laughs) So a child that is born right now is going to be experiencing that planetary experience. Does it matter where you're born? It it only matters where you're born. Well, yeah, because there are different places, um, but really it is factored with Greenwich Mean Time. So mm-hmm. this the databases that create these blueprints, they have factored all of those things in. Um, But the reason why it's so important is because the mind will convince you of just about anything. So if I say to you, oh, Lindsay, yes, we're only born one day apart, so you must be a projector. So make sure you wait to be invited. And you would be like, what? No, I have work to do. Like, you're telling me I don't have a consistent source of energy. Like, that's not true. Mm -hmm. But what if it is? And then you start to... (laughs) make yourself believe that you are a certain way, which is why I love human design because I, I fit myself into so many boxes of, let me put myself in the disc box. Let me put myself in this box and make myself this way. And, and human design is just a very holistic approach of the strengths that you bring to share with the world Mm -hmm. and whom you will attract and how you will experience them. 